Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a collider cycle. Now I actually did part one of this tutorial a very long time ago, but uh, I never had a chance to finish that and I've actually changed how I make these since then. So a collider cycle is essentially a shape made out of triangles that you can twist and fold to reveal different designs. Now while these actually look pretty complicated they're actually not that difficult to make as long as you have a decent grasp of peyote stitch. Essentially they are just made up of four lots of six triangles stitched in two prisms which are then attached with a hinge. Now you can make these in any size that you'd want with any sort of pattern or design. These couple of different ones I've done. This is the smallest one I've done at the moment. Each triangle is only four rows. Uh, five rows, six rows and seven rows. Just to get an idea of how different sizes look. Uh, my preferred size is probably a six row triangle which is the example I'm going to be showing you today. Now the first part of this tutorial is going to go over how to make a triangle using peyote stitch. So if you haven't, if you already know how to do that, you can pretty much go ahead and get started at this point. There's just a couple of things you need to know. Uh, so first off, when making things, these, you can use just regular Toho seed beads or Miyuki seed beads, but the best ones to use are Delicas just because it gives you much more even shape and I think the finished products looked a lot nicer. Now the second thing is that you're going to want to use Fireline to make these or something of a similar quality. Uh, just because I find that uh, beading threads do tend to fray after a little while with the constant twisting and turning to reveal the different designs. If you don't have fire line, you can still use beading thread. Just bear in mind that you might need to go over and re-sew a couple of patches after a month or two, just to strengthen that up a bit. Now, when you're making your initial parts, you need to have four lots of six triangles in your different designs. Now, here are my three of my designs for the one I'm making at the moment. And for your last one, this is quite important when it comes to assembly. This is my last side here, I'm making the last one of these today to show you how to do it. You need to leave a length of your beading thread attached. And this is what you're going to use when you're sewing your final piece together. This is the way I found works best and simplest to me. There are other ways of doing this, but this is a method that I prefer. So at this point, if you already know how to make a period triangle, you can leave this point. You will need four lots of six triangles and with the last lot with a length of beading thread still attached. I normally go for about an arm, oh, an arm width length is more than enough. That's about oh, 30, 40 centimeters. Generally speaking, the bigger triangle you do, the more thread you will need because it'll have further to travel when you're stitching it together. Okay. All right, now, moving on to make a peyote triangle. So a peyote triangle is actually fairly straightforward. Let me just grab myself some thread. So we're gonna make sure we're using the fire line. I'm doing about one arm length. Threading my needle. Now, when you are creating your triangle designs, you can do pretty much anything you want. Um, there are a whole bunch of designs out on the internet if you want to have a look and take some inspirations. Uh, for this particular pattern, I've gone for two. And let me come into focus. Okay. In this style, we've just gone a row of each color going out. This one's gone from dark to light. 
Uh, I've got this one which is of a pretty similar style but you can't really see the contrast quite so well just because of the colours I've used this one. I've used fairly dark colours for all of this. And then this one has a sort of cross in the middle. And then my last one, which is what we're going to be making now, has this sort of blue circle in the middle with a row of this matte grey around it and then this transparent grey around the rest of it. So to start off, you're going to need to pick up three beads of your centre colour. So we're going to be starting from the middle of our triangle and then we work our way out. So just pull them down, leave a little bit of your tail just to something to hold on to while you're working. And then you're going to go through those three beads a couple of times. This is basically going to take the place of your knot. So you want to make sure you're going to give it enough thread here yeah, so it stays nice and firm. I normally go around uh, probably three, maybe four times. Just to make sure it's nice and sturdy. I think that'll do just three times for that one. So here we have our starting point. We've got our three beads here in a circle. Now, for our next step, we're going to pick up two beads. This is basically an increase if you've done increases in peyote before. So I'm currently coming out of this bead here. Hopefully my camera is picking that up. It seems to be a little bit blurry at the moment. So I'm coming out of this bead here and I'm going to go back into this bead with the two beads I've just picked up. And just fit it with them a little to get it to lay flat. There we go. There's my first stitch. And then I'm going to repeat that all the way around to pick up two more. To the next bead. And then two more again. There we go. And there's the middle of your triangle. It's going to start looking a little more triangular in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> okay. So now we're back to the start of our row, back here, coming out of this top bead here. Okay, so if you're actually paying attention there, you'll see that from that last stitch, we actually went through two beads. So this is the row we just added on here. We went through this bead from our original row, our first, first three centre beads, and then we come out through this bead here which is the first bead of our next row. Now we're going to pick up two beads again. I'm actually going to be changing colours here just because of the pattern I am doing. So I'm going to pick up two of these light grey beads and we're going through. Now this bit we're only adding in a single bead. This is where it's basically a peyote on this side now. So for this design, I'm going to be grabbing a blue bead, adding it in the middle here. There we go. Now I'm going to add in two grey beads again, and complete the other two sides of my triangles the exact same way. So one stitch with the two grey, make sure they're laying nice and flat there. And two more grey. And a blue. Now this one again is the last stitch in a row, so here's our final blue bead and we're going back through the first bead of that row there. There we go, now it's looking a bit more like a triangle. 
So that is a three row Pleiotid triangle there. All right now, essentially, we're just going to continue the rest of the triangle in exactly the same way. So wherever we have our point, we need to add on two beads. And whenever we've got a flat side, we're just adding on one in each of those gaps. So my next row, I'm changing colors again for my pattern. We start off with two because we're on the point here. single bead and a single bead again just like that All right now it's going to continue exactly the same way for the next side of our triangle so I'm back at the point again so I'm gonna add on a row of two beads. This camera is not focusing very well today, and that's better. Right. Two beads, and then we go one and one again. Again, so we're going to be picking up two, and then we're going to on one, and one. We're going through that. Last bead, last row. Now going back up through the first bead of this row. Ready to add my last next row. I've got two more rows to do in this triangle to get up to the six row pater triangles I'm using for this particular design. Right, I'm not going to talk through the next couple of rows, but you can still follow along if you want to just refresh your memory of how to do this. And I've just come out my last bead here, and this is this triangle finished. All that is left to do is to just cut off our initial bit of string off the back. And this collider cycle is now ready to assemble. 
so there we go that's how you make your triangle if you need for this project so come back for part two and i will show you how to assemble the finished piece bye